Welcome good people to another 7 days to die alpha 17 video. This time we're going to be looking at the land claim block and specifically does it prevent zombie spawns? I believe it does not. It didn't in previous versions but I always see that question coming up when people say hey I put down a land claim block and I still had zombie spawns inside my PI. What's happening? I still see them coming. So let's try that out. Now there are a few different ways that spawns could occur. I'm going to try to test them all out. Not entirely easy. We have the PI spawns, such as in this building or the one over there. Then there are the biome spawns of the zombies spawning in the environment. We also have screamer spawns, wandering hordes and the blood moon hordes. So I am going to try to see if I can do something about that. So first I'm going to, as you see, um, the outline of the the land claim block is fairly big because I've increased it to about a hundred uh, in order to be able to cover more ground. So I'm going to put down one here and then I'm going to put down one here as well. So if you look at it, everything here should be covered. This building should be covered and this one should be covered. And I have no spawns on currently, so nothing would have spawned ahead of time. This is a new fresh world. I'm actually on a server, a dedicated server that I set up in order to test this because I wanted to pump up the land claim block distance to about 100. That's why it can cover such a large area. So I put them down. Of course, there wouldn't be anything spawning. Now, the interesting thing is, now, if I restart this server, with zombie spawns enabled, is it going to spawn in zombies? Remember, the land claim block is covering this PI and it's covering this PI. What do you think? Hmm. Place your bets. We're going to test it out right now. Okay, the server has been restarted. As you can see, zombies are spawning, at least out in the wilderness. So the basic uh, environmental spawns are still occurring because this one is definitely within the spawn distance. So it doesn't prevent normal environmental spawns at all. There was this one, we also have this one. So if you thought it's gonna prevent you from the random environmental spawns, so you see this one as well, you were wrong. Uh, let's go have a look at the PUI. Does it prevent the PUI spawns? I know this one is a fun one, you take this and Okay, nothing happened. I thought something was going to happen there. Right, let's open this one. Oh yeah, you see? The sleepers have awoken. It's not preventing the sleeper spawns. And you look here, you'll see this place is filled. Quiet. It's filled with zombies <laughs> inside the PI. It did not at all prevent their spawns. And you can see that I'm going to go over to this place over there and we should be seeing all these spawns vultures should be taking flight here yep come on yeah here they come but no the land claim block is not preventing either the environmental or the biome spawns and it's not preventing the spawns inside the PI either now I'm going to just let me just take these ones out and then I'm going to set the time out to another because once you kill them you have about I believe it's five days before they will respawn so I think I've killed all here if I do this anything else well we have a wandering out there boy so if I do a set time six and I do that at 10 10 see oh, something spawned there okay he's bouncing around at least he's dead ah you see the spawns are back so even uh, the respawns are not being protected by the land claim block. So that is busted, totally busted. Sorry, if you put down a land claim block, it's not going to prevent the spawns in the PI. Sorry, 
So I put down a bunch of uh, land claim blocks, well, a few of them, just to en enlarge the area that is being protected by the land claim blocks. And I'm going to spawn scouts. And I'm going to bring in a few scouts, which is the screamers. Now, I believe these ones are still going to be spawning, even though uh, they might be out. Well, whether that's within or outside of the... The land claim block area is hard to tell because I don't know exactly how far away they are spawning. I am protecting about an 100 blocks, so I think they are still going to spawn. But let's see when they come in, whether they will be screaming and the zombies will be arriving. Oh yeah, you see here. So these ones, if you look at the land claim block, it's uh, protecting way far and you saw the these uh, screamers still spawn now i did an admin spawn so you could uh, you could claim that it's because i'm forcing it as an admin and that's why it's happening and maybe that's true i still think they would have spawned even if it was just heat heat uh, spawns but let me see if i can get them to scream all right one scream and you see i believe these ones are let's take out this one come on by the way I believe these ones were the screamer spawns. Let's see more screamers. And you see more of them are spawning. Yep, they're coming all over the place. So, screamers will be spawning and the zombies that they are calling in through their screams are also spawning. You see they're coming up and popping up all over the place. So yeah, land claim blocks are not going to be blocking the scream response either. And this is how you make a nice scream horde, by the way. You just <laughs> make sure you're out of out of there so they can kill you. And they will just scream. I think it's three times each. And a poor little bunny trying to run away. So unfortunately, this one is not going to be good for you. Screamers will still scream. But let's kill them. Oh, they killed the tree. Let's kill all. Now, what about wandering hordes? A little bit tougher to actually test out because I can spawn them in manually, but, uh, but uh, you might argue again that it's an admin command. Spawn wandering horde. They are coming in. Let me see if I can find out where they are. Remember, I have a land claim block here, which you cover 100 blocks that way. I have the same for over there and over there. Let's see if we can get any of them coming in. A little bit trickier because they do walk towards the player, but you don't necessarily know. Oh, there they are. So you see they are over there, but this is definitely within the land claim block area. You check here. You see the green outline in the top right and that's definitely and i have another land climb block i believe here so this is definitely within the reach of the land claim block so at least for the admin commands it doesn't block the wandering horde and i believe it's the same for the other triggered one that are coming you know once or twice a day so sorry if you thought it's going to block the wandering hordes unfortunately it doesn't matter how many you, you spawn it's not going to help you but what about Blood Moon Hordes. Can it? Will it? Will it prevent the Blood Moon Horde? Well, why don't we try that out? Now, Blood Moon Hordes will be spawning within um, about a 50, I think 50 to 70 block radius. So I'm going to give self XP and I'm going to give myself a lot of experience. And let's see what game stage I am at now. Game stage 253, because I want to have it a little bit higher. And then we're going to do set time 21, 21, 59. This is about to be a Blood Moon Horde. I'm cold. Oh. Uh, you see, they spawn. Definitely. Let me do a... Uh, so I have definitely... I have, have land claim blocks here. And I don't think that's helping whatsoever. You see that coming in. Let me do a... Let me give myself a, a mining helmet. Helmet. 
give myself a little bit of light to do a kill all and let's see if they still spawn yeah you see they're spawning right within view here even the green ones let's do that again oh kill all and this is definitely protected by the land claim blocks and now you see they're spawning literally right in front of me and of course it's a lot easier to see when there are green glowing entities there do we get some more of them but yeah they're definitely spawning within visual range and within the area that is covered by the land claim block so unfortunately it's not going to protect you from the land claim block either so if you're looking for the land claim block to save you remember it does not prevent biome spawns does not prevent poi spawns it does not prevent screamer spawns or wandering hordes or blood moon hordes so what does well i believe it's only the bedroll and of course you're not going to prevent the blood moon horde spawn by bedrolls because you can't put down a million of them actually maybe if you boost up the the range just like i did for the land claim block maybe it will hmm maybe i'll test that out another time but for now as you can see this myth is busted land claim blocks are only going to protect against other players not against zombies being high up does however prevent you from being killed most of the time unless they're vomiting at you and i hope you enjoyed this enough to subscribe and why not follow me on twitter as well and get notified when i'm posting videos i generally follow back everyone who follow me and have a wonderful night don't let the zombies bite Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.